In this tutorial I will show you how to make a reindeer Christmas sweater with moving eyes. The pattern is available in sizes small to 3 extra large. In the description below you will find a link to my free written pattern which includes instructions for all the other sizes as well. For this project you will need bulky weight yarn. On my website you can find my recommendations but feel free to try any yarn you want as long as it's the same weight. You will need 4 colors red, white, black and brown. You will need crochet hook size 5.5 mm and for the sleeve you will need 4.5 mm. Okay, let's start. First we will work on the front panel and with white we will make a slip knot and chain 63. Skip the first 3 chains and work 1 double crochet stitch in each stitch across. You will now have 60 stitches. Row 2 till 4 we will start with 3 chains. And then we will make one front post double crochet in the next stitch and one back post double crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook around the stitch from the front and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And the back post double crochet stitch is the same, but then you insert a hook around the stitch from the back. So yarn over, insert your hook around the stitch from the back and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2 loops. Repeat this till the end of row 4. We are now going to use this graph to make our reindeer. Each square on the graph will be one half double crochet stitch in that specific color. Start every row with two chains and work the half double crochet stitches through three loops. I will show you a few times how to make color changes and as you can see you start with the first color and finish a stitch with the new color because this way the color changes will be invisible. So just continue working one half double crochet stitch in every stitch and making the color changes as stated in a graph. You can find this graph on my website as well. At row 32 we will start working on the eyes, which means we have to create a gap. So work one half double crochet stitch in the next 26 stitches and turn your work. Now we are only going to work in these 26 stitches till row 38.
Repeat this on the other side of the sweater. This will leave 8 stitches unworked. Row 39 we will make 26 half double crochet stitches, then we chain 8 in the middle. And continue working 1 half double crochet stitch in the remaining 26 stitches. Row 40 till 70, we will continue working one half double crochet stitch in each stitch across using the graph. As you can see, we have now created a gap for the eyes. The back panel is the same as the front panel, except we don't have to make color changes and we don't create a gap. So repeat row 1 till 4 from the front panel and change to red after row 8. When you finish the front and back panel, sew them together with the right sides facing each other. Make sure to align the rows of each piece. Sew up to row 48 on each side, starting on the bottom of the sweater. This should leave 22 stitches for your armhole. Continue working on the shoulder seam. Sew up 18 stitches on both sides. This should leave 24 stitches for your neck opening. The sleeves are worked in the round. Start with red and join with a slip stitch at the base of an armhole opening. Make normal half double crochet stitches, which means you insert a hook through two loops instead of three like we did before. Row 1, we will work one half double crochet stitch in each stitch around. Row 2 till 11 we will start every row with two half double crochet stitches together, which means you yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert a hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all loops. Then continue working one half double crochet stitch in each stitch around. After row 11 we will stop making decreases and make one half double crochet stitch in each stitch till row 44 or till you think the sleeve is long enough. Now change to white yarn and use crochet hook 4.5 mm. We will start with one double crochet stitch in each stitch around.
The next three rows we will make one front post double crochet in the next stitch and one back post double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat this sleeve on the other side. Use white yarn and crochet hook 4.5 mm. Start in one of the corners and work one half double crochet stitch in each stitch around. Finally, we will have to make a pocket for the smartphone. Use brown yarn or the color that you used for the reindeer and crochet hook 5.5 mm. Chain 20 plus 3 turning chains or as many chains you will need for the size of your phone. Skip the first 3 chains and make 1 double crochet stitch in each stitch across and at the end turn your work. Chain 3 and work 1 double crochet stitch in each stitch across for the next 7 rows. Finish off and sew the pocket to the inside of your front panel behind the eye gap. Close the bottom and both sides. Do not close the top because that's where we will insert the phone. And that's it! You can find all information about the yarn and app for the moving eyes on my website. You can find the link in the description below. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Please leave a like and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get notifications when I upload new free crochet patterns. Hope to see you next time. Bye!